Hello, my name is Omar Abbasad. It is February 18th, Sunday, 2018 at 6.29 p.m. in Toronto. So I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the tweets I tweeted today on my account, R-O-S-H-I-N-I-911. Those are my tweets, just to confirm. So I talked a little bit about, um, about the harassment I experienced and um, about unwitting experimentation. That was me. Um, I talked about um, about illegal entry, possible illegal entry into my home and being set up. I talked about um, the um, escalated harassment that I'm experiencing because there's a legal case that's been filed in the Human Rights Tribunal. Um, I do suspect that um, as a result of this, I am being harassed even more. It's escalated. And I think the goal of this, um, this harassment is to have me pulled out of my home um, under the, um, the claims that um, in distress, very much so, in a catatonic uh, state, and I need to be drugged, and I should not return because, oh my goodness me, everybody's scared of me. Let me explain a little bit about that. So what is actually happening is because, um, is because uh, the escalated harassment my one of my strategies to deal with uh, being harassed this way is to verbalize it, talk about it, talk it, talk out um, loudly. Not excuse me, not screaming, but um, as I'm doing right now, um, verbalize it uh, very clearly. I shouldn't say loudly, and uh, and uh, listen to what I'm saying and to feel the feelings and to let it go. This is part of a, um, a therapy that my therapist has, um, has uh, talked about. However, I think because of the intense harassment um, and the verbalization that's resulting, um, it's been recorded. So the verbalization, I should say, um, let me rephrase that, that's resulting from the harassment is being recorded and uh, is being used as quote unquote evidence to make me look like something is wrong with me and I need drugging. I'm out of control. I mean, I'm a, in a highly emotional state. Uh, I'm getting worse, I heard, outside the window. Um, and she needs to be pulled out and never to return because, oh my goodness me, we're scared of her. The opposite is true. I am being targeted. I am being harassed. I'm being called a prostitute. I'm being called a whore. And none of it is true. I am being lynched. Um, the drive is on. I believe um, there is a, a sign, something, an order to have me removed. Therefore, that would, if it was true, uh, that would be evidence in itself that the push is on to get me out of the building. Therefore, I'm being harassed out. And since I filed a legal claim um, in the Human Rights Tribunal, then the, um, the result of that is to have the harassment intensify because the push is on to have me pulled out of my unit and to be drugged never to return. Not to have a writ where I can take it to court and serve papers and I, uh, and I go to court and I defend myself because God forbid I will have a voice if that happened. The whole idea of this program is to suppress my voice. There is a need here to suppress my voice, which is why I'm speaking out as I am right now. The whole idea is to suppress my voice, which is why the harassment has intensified. And when I verbalize, this is great fodder when it's recorded to present to a magistrate, you know, fodder to, to include in the file, presented to a magistrate to prove that something is wrong with me. And I'm saying here, that nothing's wrong with me. And I'm going to tweet this. I know that the police, or, or uh, maybe you, a few, is following my tweets, are following my tweets. So um, they would know that nothing is wrong. There's no emergency. And uh, if the file, a file is being presented to make me look like, uh, you know, I, I need to be pulled out right away. Oh, my goodness me. Because I'm sure there are people in the building who are constantly calling about me. And one day somebody is going to pick me up and have me drugged by sticking a needle in my arm without question because they would have this file to back up what they're doing. 
And this is uh, what I'm hoping will not happen. This is why I'm doing this. And if I were drugged without asking a question, it could kill me. Most likely it will. First of all, I'm very, very sensitive to drugs, any kind of drugs. And second of all, I have a heart issue. So, uh, and I don't wear a bracelet saying that I have a heart issue. So um, if no questions are asked like they did in the past, I was pulled out without, without any question. If no questions are asked and someone stick a sedative into my arm, a needle with, with um, drugs to sedate me into my arm without questioning me, they will kill me. So I'm tweeting out of fear. I'm doing this out of fear and to save my life, basically. So again, I'm going to say I have a heart monitor. I monitor my heart rate. Uh, I know um, if something's wrong, I will call 911 before I get to the point where I can't. Uh, um, it's closely being monitored by myself. Um, I know how I feel. Uh, if I feel faint or whatever, I will call 911. There is absolutely no reason for me not to live alone. I think I heard somebody outside my door saying, you know, something's wrong with her. She can't live on her own. These comments are made outside my door all the time and outside my window. There is absolutely no reason to take somebody's independence away this way. Absolutely no reason. Other than, of course, uh, you know, if, uh, if a group of people want to lynch you out of your home because you're trying to expose something that should not be going on in the building in the first place. Without going on, I'm going to, um, I'm going to stop there. Talk to you another time.